sitting out here on a cold January morning in the wind. Um, I just wanted to talk real fast about scam record labels. This is something I, I see impacting a lot of bands um, in a lot of different places all over the world. Um, you know, first and foremost, if you get an offer from a label who you're not familiar with, um, ask people on the label, even if you don't know them, because those people will be able to tell you, like, yo, this is for real, no, this isn't for real, yada, yada, yada. Um, you know, and if, and ask a bunch, because some people don't fully understand how labels work, they don't fully understand what they should be getting or what they signed up for, and that's part of why we make these videos, to help you understand. So, don't be afraid to go out and ask a bunch of people what the deal is, how it works, where it's coming from, right? Okay, cool. So once you have that going for you, you know, also ask the label every question you have. If the label isn't, like, confidently able to answer questions or, like, the person you're talking to isn't like, oh, let me go run this up the flagpole and comes back with a real answer. If people aren't doing that, if you're not getting real answers, then just back away. Because that's just another really good way to know, oh, this isn't legit. You know, and make sure that it's, that they're giving you the things you want. You know, do your research. Know what you should be asking for and then see if they'll give it to you. If they're not going to give it to you, maybe you should move on. That being said, if a label asks you for money, usually it's a scam, but not always. Sometimes there's legit reasons for that. Sometimes, as we've discussed before, they want to see that you have skin in the game, right? So often, <clears throat> I think, bands don't have skin in the game and and they just put something out because, oh, it's no risk to us, and it ends up fucking the label over and the label's out $500 because the band, or more, you know, because the band never did anything to promote the record. So sometimes it's like, oh, you want PR? You have to pay for it because guess what? That's a big cost for us and we're giving you a bunch of shit for free anyway. And I totally understand that. That's just how the struggle is a lot of the time, unfortunately, you know. Um, so you need to accept that, you know, and you need to accept that it's not because your band is bad necessarily, but it's because the whole ecosystem is bad and other bands are bad. And that means that if a label feels like it can't trust people, it's not that they don't can't trust you, it's just that they've been screwed over so many times before. You know, and that's but artists have also been screwed over again, which is why you need to do your research and you need to do some digging. And if a label doesn't want to prove their legitimacy, you know, above and beyond the pall of reasonable doubt then you're kind of in trouble, you know? So don't be afraid to hire a lawyer or to ask, some, uh, ask a friend in a bigger band to look at stuff for you. You know, these are just how it needs to be. You know, you need to spend the time, you need to dig through, you need to look up. And as you dig through and look up and spend the time, things will gradually become more clear. And the more clear things become, the faster you will get towards that end goal of, you know, being on a cool label and avoiding the scams, you know? Um, uh, again, there's a lot of scams out there. There's a lot of people who try to do everything in-house and that doesn't actually lead to any results. Track their other releases, track their other ideas, you know, ask for proof in the pudding, ask for results, ask for evidence if you don't know. If you know the label, obviously don't be an asshole. But, you know, if, if they don't want to give you information on them and you don't know them and they're offering you a deal that's too good to be true, probably too good to be true.